From Tampa Bay Streaming News Source, brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com, this is ABC Action News. Hi there, I'm Wendy Ryan. Dennis has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. Tonight, a six-year-old boy, the victim of a heartless crime. His wheelchair was stolen right in front of his Brandon home. The boy is epileptic and depends on that $10,000 wheelchair just to get around. But after we spread the word, someone finally returned the stolen wheelchair earlier this evening. Stolen cigarettes, 135 charges, and 17 people cuffed and jailed. New tonight, the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office announcing a major stolen cigarette ring bust. Undercover officers busted 15 stores, confiscating $60,000 worth of money, stolen cigarettes, guns, and marijuana. Tragic new developments tonight surrounding a freak accident on the Howard Franklin Bridge. A 65 year old woman dying after an 18 inch piece of metal flew through the windshield of her SUV. Highway Patrol troopers just confirming Margaret Musto passed away on Saturday. In other news tonight, a Sarasota County man accused of stealing a car with a nine-year-old girl inside. Deputies say Thomas White stole that car from the Lowe store on Fruitville Road. The little girl in the back seat managed to escape. White told deputies he intended to sell the car and buy drugs. And work is underway on the Treasure Island Beach Trail. The improvements should make the trail easier to use and it should be done by August. And now here's Dennis with your forecast, Den. Yeah, Wendy, things are awfully chilly out there, and I'll tell you what, come wake up time Tuesday, they're going to be a lot cooler. Most of us in the 50s along the beach, maybe upper 50s to lower 60s, but you go anywhere from, say, northern Hillsboro right through Citrus, you'll be waking up into the mid to upper 40s under clear skies. Pretty breezy out there as well, although I do think the winds will come down by tomorrow morning. Upper 40s to around 50, Polk County right on down through Highlands, and mid to upper 50s in Sarasota and Manatee County. Thanks, Dan, and you can now get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And don't forget to download our free ABC Action News app. Visibility while driving at night can be challenging for drivers, and their failure to see pedestrians is often fatal. In Florida, 75% of pedestrian fatalities occur at night. Many drivers say they never saw the pedestrian. What will it take to see them? Can you see him now? Drivers, look for pedestrians, especially at night. Pedestrians, make sure you are visible. Alert tonight, alive tomorrow. Because safety doesn't happen by accident.